B splines, or basis splines, are piecewise defined polynomial functions that can be used for curve fitting and surface approximation. B spline algorithm handles exceptionally well large datasets, but are also useful when data points are scarce and irregular. Traditionally, shipbuilders use thin and flexible wooden strips known as splines to draw the smooth curves of a ship's hull. Just as the wooden spline was influenced by control points the same way the mathematical spline is also defined. The higher the degree or power of polynomial function the smoother the curve. This interpolation method captures general trends of even very complex shapes. It also allows for more local control, which affects only a limited portion of the surface. It is suitable for smooth geological boundaries and interpolating any properties with smooth transitions. Because B-spline surfaces do not have to pass through all control points this method manages noise very well. It uses a sequence of parameter values called the knot vector. The knot values determine where and how the curve bends. The number of knots and their values will influence the continuity and shape of the surface. This interpolation method can be accessed through the Saga menu. In the configuration dialog I need to select the input layer with the attribute of interpolation. Then I need to set other parameters including the output cell size and the range. With lower range values the control points will only influence the surface locally while with higher values the data points will have a wider influence which may result in a surface that does not pass through them. For a second degree or cubic B spline typically used in QGS multiple repeated values at the start and end are required to ensure the curve starts and ends at the first and last control points. Their lack will result in peculiar effects where areas without data or areas outside the convex hull of the data points are approximated to zero. When working with elevation data the edges or areas without sample points may show as having an elevation of zero. One way around is to use multilevel B-spline interpolation, which divides the dataset into smaller subsets or layers and applies B-spline interpolation to each of them. It starts with a coarse B-spline interpolation, then refines it in subsequent levels, progressively adding more detail. As we can see B-spline is a simple yet efficient method suitable both for interpolating scarce strata tops and interpreting large geophysical and remote sensing data. Thank you for watching this, leave a comment if there is anything you would like me to explain, and don't forget to subscribe.